Alright guys, this is the video for how to make the modded ISO, um, cause I had this uploaded on my other channel but it got deleted, so obviously not there anymore. So, yeah, I'm gonna make this video and then I'll make a video how to burn the ISO when you're done, when you have it all modded, or it, to, to skip this part, like, if you do not, if you don't want to do any of this, just go download my pre-modded ISO, it'll, um, my program will be in the description and all the pre-modded ISOs will be are like you can download them on the program from the program so just go download the program and download the pre-modded ISOs if you don't want to do any of this so let's get started the I'm gonna mess with Modern Warfare 2 ISO for this tutorial um, you don't have to you can do World at War, if you would like, like that's probably what you are gonna do. But it's the it's the same concept. So first things first, open up ABGX 360. I'll have all these in the description. Um, find find the ISO you want to stuff patch. Open, just click that. Find the ISO. Um, Copy all my settings. Just pause the video. Make sure all your settings are as mine. And then launch it. Red, gaming partition, CRC, not mad, verified, I9, and four possibilities. It says that because this is a modded ISO. Like, I just copied. Um, let me show you. The, the Mono for 2 ISO that I always burn, like the Spec Ops one, is this one. I just copied the ISO, put it in there, and um, so that's why it says it, because this is already modded. Stealth, verified, games, data wasn't. So, click, space, exit out of that, now, open up WX360, I'll open the ISO, First thing first, extract your default EXE to your desktop. You have to do this because if you replace any files it corrupts and this is a clean default.exe so like, I'll show you, um, let me see. This here, this is the patch I'm going to be using. Zephyr's on the uh, he needs to change that. Um, but yeah, so here I'll show you. Let me find. So I'll replace the code post and then common. So code post. Uh, replace. Download. So here. See, um, I replaced the code post. Now this ISO is corrupted. But and go ahead and replace common. Now it's even more corrupted. <laughs> But, um, 
now you replace the default e exe because the de er, the default exe corrupts and replace replace it with the one on the desktop because the one you re you extracted to the desktop is a clean one so you just extracted the corrupted one with the clean one and now it's not corrupted anymore obviously so voila um, yeah, that, that's it with WX360, um, and that is it for this tutorial, I'm, I'll get ready, after I get done with this video, I'm gonna make the, how to burn the ISO, and, but like, if you didn't want to do any of this, you just down the pre-modded ISO, cause, that's the easiest route you can take, probably if you're not very good at any of this. So yeah, um, this helped you at all, give a like and subscribe. So.